think the early the early phase is the most the most exciting part is putting the all of what might appear to be unrelated and disconnected pieces of information together to come up with a design outcome which then allows all of those elements to meld into one design solution. The key elements that we know of that we will certainly incorporate will be things like showcase spaces, industry spaces, discovery rooms, advanced manufacturing spaces, 3D augmentation, those sorts of things. Back in my day, tech skills were all trade orientated. Uh, now we're looking at the STEM, we're looking at science, technology, engineering and mathematics. So we're looking at that higher end stuff where we can be looking at um, and getting kids educational needs and skills probably for jobs that's not even out there yet. And it's not only a challenge for the kids, it's a challenge for us, it's a challenge for our teachers. With the co-design workshops and, and watching how the kids develop them, because they developed what the school should look like, not us, you know. They chose mentoring, they chose lots of areas where they want to work. And, I was a big supporter of uh, the exchange program, um, which is when um, employees and hiring managers from businesses would come into the tech school and see how the students worked, because we feel there's definitely a gap between students and uh, workers, and we, we want to bridge that gap. I'm probably too old, but most, most of the world is all highly in that technological space, so we want to make sure that the students, not only are they aware of it, but have a chance to touch it, feel it, engage with it, and that's the, that's the thing that will make a positive contribution to them learning and uh, hopefully furthering their technology experience through the education more broadly. They, they want to work beyond um, the traditional educational boundaries. They want to work different hours of education. It's exciting times for us all. <laughs>